Hi everyone, I know this isn't a base building video that you've been waiting for. I've cheated on Fallout 4 with No Man's Sky for the past two months. I'm so sorry. I figured I might as well upload my bases. I have 16 or something by now. By the way, my headset broke and the new mic is not as good as the old one. I'm sorry. This was my third base and the first more sophisticated one on one of my favorite lush planets. No mods used this time, so the variety of clutter is quite limited. Yes, sadly there are asshole animals in the area who once killed me. Seems like all the nice looking planets have either heat storms, hostile sentinels or aggressive fauna. Or all of these things. I have yet to discover a calm paradise planet that doesn't have the ugly combination of tomato soup water and orange grass. I love that little gag farmer with a dog face. Sorry about all the lag, it's worse when I'm in a multiplayer session. I have a GTX 1080 Ti by now even, but this game still runs like ass. Um, sorry about all the icon clutter, I had to leave the HUD on for the messages to appear. I will disable it later. Such a beautiful planet with a sort of perpetual late evening sun. You know, I used to think Fallout 4 space building was a half-baked mess with frustrating buggy snap nodes, but No Man's Sky is much, much worse. It's not even complete. There are essential parts missing for the cuboid rooms, for example. It's so bad that I don't use cuboid parts much. I like the kit bass I'm using for houses like this one. The round metal rooms don't allow multiple workstations, for no reason. If you try to put workstations in wooden houses, they snap to the middle of the room instead of the walls, which makes them useless. You have to put pieces together in a specific order. Can't build workstations in round rooms if a glass dome is attached already. Can't put closing doors on straight walls if there's a floor or a ceiling already. Can't place a terrarium if you place the ceiling already. Glass doorways sometimes don't allow you to pass through them, for whatever reason. I could go on and on about how frustrating and buggy this game is. I wonder if anybody ever tested base building before they released that update. But despite all my frustrations with this game's random bugginess, I'm having a lot of fun finding nice looking spots for bases. I'm using the save game editor to fill my inventory with materials for easy base building in story mode. Otherwise it's just too grindy. The game is actually sort of good now since the next update last summer. Multiplayer works surprisingly well, lots of things to do now. Well, none of them particularly interesting, all fetch quests, you know. And the planet variety is still low, but there is a basic story now and I love the current art style. Ugh, those dinosaur assholes are really annoying. They will chase you forever if you don't kill them. The little ones are awesome though. I love the Jurassic Park feel of this planet. Hello games reworked the fauna, now they aren't so ugly anymore, and some planets are big creatures. I don't mind the superheated rainstorms that almost all lush planets have. They don't kill you. In fact, I like hazards, they make things more interesting.
I had no idea this cave was so spacious until I made the video. So I did build inside it. This is a surface base anyway. I'm working on a cave base on a high security planet right now. I have several underwater cave bases though. But trying to connect a surface room to an underwater room is impossible. This isn't Subnautica. No Man's Sky does not allow you to build an underwater structure directly below the surface because it has a small antenna that must be submerged too. But when you snap a regular room on top of it, it will end up half flooded. I wasted an hour trying to make it work, but it is really impossible. Rage inducing game design. Here's my asshat friend again waiting to eat me. I should just shoot them, right? Oh, come on! I love this crater, it's perfect for spaceport. Dude, please! The waiting area? And up here you can get high on Gagnep while you wait for transportation. Random research room. I get lost in here all the time. Ah, the creepy overseer. The link between No Man's Sky and Fallout. <laughs> Three spots don't allow plants to be put down because of the workstation below. Yes, this is how stupid this game can be. Corvax are sort of like the Geth from Mass Effect, so all my favorite franchises are here. Kind of. Same issue with the biodome here. I think it started when the workstations began floating a bit off the floor. No idea how that even happened or how to fix it. But so now apparently they clip with the biodomes. The Viking are such ugly monkey men. The second waiting area is identical to the first, same Gignip Lounge. This is my main spaceship, also my favorite one. Quite a rare design and color combination I think. In 200 hours I've only come across one of the unique spaceships once. And sadly it was when I arrived at the space station with my favorite ship, so I didn't swap it.
notice one type of plant clipping through the ceiling? This is an unmodded game and this is the correct position. Sean Mary, please. I'll quickly show you my other greenhouses before visiting my fellow traveler's base up on the hill. Another annoying thing about base building is that you cannot build support beams below the glass domes. Or you can, but they disable the water and you cannot put down plants. So very frustrating. I am a big fan of realistic architecture. Floating domes is silly. And you can't put down anything on the ground without foundations or the grass will respawn. All vegetation respawns. So if you want to avoid having a tree inside your house when you return from your adventure, build around trees and rocks. And don't build into the ground. The soil will respawn too. So sadly, building cave tunnels is not viable. Building inside caves becomes a matter of very careful placement. Hello, little gag friend! Hi there! Show me around your mansion that smells of new money but poor taste. Nah, I'm just kidding. This gag is alright. He's a hardworking man, actually, who made his fortune rubbing himself against people. And yes, there is a market for that, believe it or not. Yeah, sorry about the mining operation ruining the view. I was the one who built those on his property. Oops. Look how excited he is about showing me his private knowledge stone. This is not a dirty joke. Although, he is a bit of a pervert. Yeah. Once you use a friend's teleporter, it will be added to the list of destinations in the future. Ooh, dance for me, oh yeah!
say, this is a spot where our little pervert spies on my character's bedroom with his binoculars. I could have added a lot more greenhouses to the valley, but it's not like I need the resources. Oh man, I love the newly patched in aquarium! Oops, we, we've just shoved each other behind it! <laughs> Usually you get stuck and need to delete the obstacle, but all is well here, no need to panic, praise the jetpack. When you're in photo mode and your friend shoves you, you actually start gliding over the ground and it just goes on forever. This can also happen underwater. I once started gliding up into the air like Jesus ascending to the heavens. Best moment in the game. Nights are extremely pretty on a lush planet. The glow of the star up here is just awesome. It can take quite a while to find stop up in a good spot among the trees, however. The game looks so much better now than at release. The new terrain textures are great. I do think the more vibrant colors of the Pathfinder update were better, but planets look way more organic now overall. Our little get friend has something else to show us, it seems. Ah, yes, the bubble room is his favorite place. Oh no, look, he's here, the super creepy other aggressive species haunting this place. Yay! Thanks for watching guys, and if anybody is still playing this game, please come visit my bases and leave a message for me. All my finished bases are being uploaded one by one. Feel free to take whatever you want from my greenhouses, I do not need any of it. And here are the portal coordinates. See you soon my fellow travelers.